Yo, it's Josh. Welcome to the channel. What is up, everyone? Today, we're going to be going over how to make an Aries type song. I put together a little vibe called Different Side of You that I think is similar to Aries and is what I'm going to use to illustrate all the techniques in this video. Here's a little preview of it now. I really want to see a different side of you. I want to feel, want to know your point of view. Let your head down, let your spirit loose. Take your head, let's both enjoy the view. First thing I'm gonna get into is the 808. Aries always has super hard 808s. He actually has a pack right here if you're interested. Super hard, but I didn't end up using that. I actually used the Halloween 808 on this one and that's from an internet money kit. Nothing too, too crazy. A little bit of trash for some slight distortion and saturation. I've been using this pusher plugin, kind of clipping it a little bit, adding a little low range. I don't even know what it does. It just sounds dope. Kind of EQ'd a little bit of like the boominess at the bottom. Yeah just a hard 808. Another thing you can do is something that Aries actually said he did in an AMA, which is just duplicate the 808 and then pitch it an octave up. So you would just duplicate it, go here, highlight all the notes, command A, and then just pitch it up an octave. And that's just shift up on if you're using Ableton. Another technique you could do if you wanted a little bit more saturation and distortion is you could just duplicate this, EQ out the low end, and then even apply more trash or distortion plugin like Temper. This is actually for free. Super dope distortion plugin. See, like just like right there, it goes from Oh yeah, something like that. The first thing I want to talk about is arrangement and loop manipulation. And one thing Aries does a lot is he has a lot of different sections. Sometimes there are different parts delineating these sections, but other times you're just taking the loop and you might pitch it up 12, you might pitch it down 12, or you might filter it for a section using these little things to arrange the track and make it more interesting. One arrangement trick that Aries likes to use are these little fake out psycho and fool's gold. When the hook comes in, everything drops out but the vocal. And so that's what I did here. I really want to see a different side of you I want That's a classic Aries technique Take out everything on the one And then you have a hard hitting 808 and kick coming in Or using these little transition sounds those are just to kind of like almost whip in. I just think it helps it sound better. Next thing I want to talk about are different instruments. As I said, we already have the loop there. We also have this guitar right here. It's literally just a, I think a preset in Ableton. Yeah, just called Clean Basic Guitar. Put a little guitar rig on it. For those of you that have it, I just use Mark's brother, freaking Mark. Little RC20, a lot of distortion, crank the width, uh, and then EQ'd out where it's just this low mid kind of sound. Kind of sounds weird, but in the context of the mix, it sounds dope. This just shows like you don't need to play guitar. You have everything you need. A little quick tip on guitar chords you can use, call it a power chord if you're actually playing guitar. But what you would do is whatever your bass note is, you would start with that and then you would go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you got five. And so you'd form a power chord. Whatever your bass note is, is where you would start the power chord. So just a little quick tip if you want that kind of like rocky, punky type sound. Next, we're gonna go over the drums. Aries always has really unique sounding drums. I'm going to solo the drums together. Let's see what we got. So little things like that are pretty cool. So I use this Mick Schultz snare. So you can usually do these like reverby type snares or percussion sounds on the two or the four. That's what I mean by two or four. In the context of this measure, you would have right here, that'd be the two. And that'd be the four. So it'd be like one, two, three, four. See on the fourth one, you could put like a little reverb kind of snare and it would help give it a little bit of variation. For the hats, you want to mess with the pitching uh, and just the rhythms and kind of want to stray away sometimes from just the typical, t -t 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 -t, like just like the classic like trap. And just make it a little bit more interesting. For the snare, I just took a Lex Luger snare, put a little bit of reverb on it, a little RC20, give it a little bit of texture that I like. You want your kick to be really hard. And so a lot of this just comes down to good sound selection. There are so many good kicks out there. Cody Pack is one, BWB kits are one, internet money, all those are good. And so you just wanna make sure you put the right kick that hits really hard and also gels with your 808. Okay, and that's something to mess with right here. Sometimes Aries will do these weird little kick patterns. Don't be afraid to kind of mess with like rolling the kick. 30 second triplet notes for that. 
So next I want to talk about the vocals. I actually don't have all the vocal samples in here, so we wouldn't be able to solo them, but don't worry, it's all set up and I'll still be able to go over all the effects that I have. I got you. With Aries, he loves to stack his vocals. We have the lead, you always want it to be in the center. One of the techniques I love to do is do a pitched octave down vocal and how to make that cleaner, I would use a plugin like Manipulator Auto-Tune, mess with the form in a little bit, widen it a little bit, put a doubler on it, limit it to kind of keep it, make it really squashed and really just like stay in its place. So if you go down here, we got the left and right. These are just doubles and you want to do some harmonies and you want to just pan these left and right. Another thing you can do is make some ad lib type tracks. And I actually like to use CLA effects for these, give it a little bit of distortion, some reverb. And then what you want to do with these is just separate it from the lead vocal. Lastly, I want to go over the master channel. I have this infected mushroom pusher on there. It's just doing a little bit of clipping, nothing too crazy, a little bit of Abbey Road vinyl, a little bit of ozone. And if you don't have these, don't worry. You can use a lot of the stock plugins. There's a limiter, a little glue compressor has the soft clip function. You can still make it work. For the vocals, yeah, took out some of the low end, got some EQ stuff going on down here, pretty basic, de -esser compression, a little bit of gate to take out the noise. One of the secrets for vocals is to use parallel compression. The way you set that up is if you have a compressor with a mix knob, you would just adjust the mix and then kind of push the input to where it's just slamming and really compressing the vocal. And this will help it stay really in your face. Little multiband. What this multiband is doing is just making sure that the frequencies stay under control. So if I got louder and you know the lows in my voice got a little bit louder, this is gonna control that and make sure it stays dynamic and smooth. A Little bit of fresh air, and then a little bit of the I am pusher, just limiting it, adding a little bit of this magic knob. Don't know it exactly what it does, but it sounds great. Another kind of bass that Aries uses a lot is a Reese bass. And so I want to show you how to do that really quickly. If you have Serum, super, super simple. So you don't even have to change the oscillator. It'll just be on here. You go to like six or seven, unison, turn the detune up to here. And the real magic right here is in this filter. So you'd go to normal, low 24. And then you want to adjust it down to right about here. A little bit of fat, a little bit of drive. If you want to, you can turn on the other oscillator and make it an octave up. So what that is doing is giving you this kind of classic like filtered bass that you hear a lot in like Metro tracks. It's just, just something you can kind of always go to. I think this is really useful for breakdown sections where you have a loop or some chords going with this and it just like kind of makes your chest feel good and just feel really nice. The last thing I would say for making Aries type beats is just making your sounds less stock or just kind of affecting them to fit in your mix better. For instance, we have this part right here with this impact clap going on. And so the original sound without the RC20. Yeah, it's just really loud and abrasive and I wanted it to fit in the mix better because it was kind of like interfering with the vocals. What I did was I filtered it, threw some distortion in this magnetic on it, then turned it down a little bit. But the key here is the filtering. And a lot of times when you're choosing your sounds, you can pick great sounds from the beginning, but a lot of times it's just kind of molding these sounds to fit within your mix better. Something else he does is using transition sounds. And so little stomps, impacts, percussion, SF effects. And so I would just utilize these at the end of sections, at the end of a verse or end of a hook. Awesome to glue together sections. When you glue together these sections, just, just make it really easy on your listener. That's all for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. If you have questions about anything, make sure to send me a DM. I'm here to talk and I'm here to help you on your musical journey. We're in this together. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all's week. Keep making dope music. I'll see you next time. Love you.